What's going on everybody? We finished up with the first fall practice. A lot of successful things happened today. I will get into that in a little bit. We also had the chance to interview Manny Diaz, quarterback De'Ara King, wide receiver Mike Harley, and safety Bubba Bolden. I'll talk a little bit about some of the things they, they said, but I want to get right into practice. So we were able to watch the entirety of practice. We were able to film about four or five sessions and definitely hopefully you guys liked some of the videos there, the one-on-one -on -one stuff with the wide receivers and the defensive backs is always exciting. I think the big question that was answered today was how De'Ara King looked. He did a great job throwing the ball. I thought he looked good early in drills, which was very important. Also, you saw a little bit, maybe you did, that he was able to move out of the pocket a little bit. He was actually able to take off and run in some drills, and he was asked about that quite a bit afterwards. What was that like? And also, Manny Diaz said, look, this is what we expected from De'Ara King. We saw him all summer. They just kind of felt like this is going to be De'Ara. They expected him to be ready. And he's, he certainly looked uh, well today. Also, something of note, Derek was asked if he plans on wearing a, a knee brace. He's not planning on doing that. He had a wrap on today. It wasn't a big brace or anything like that. But he's basically saying he's going to be out there. There really shouldn't be any question marks at this point. And certainly a lot of things were answered today. Again, all of the media was able to be out there today. And he looked good. And I think it was very important for the team, for the fan base, for the coaches and really left no questions after today. So now it's going to be about, let's have a strong fall camp and also get ready for Alabama. And he did admit today that he has seen a lot of film on Alabama in the off season, and also said that he had time to do that because of his injury. He was rehabbing, things like that. So he's watched a lot of Alabama already. Well, that was one thing that Bubba Bolden said afterwards was about Alabama. He was asked about it and he said, look, they've got good players, but we're focused on the team right now. And I, I felt like that's what we expected to hear but I can promise you that these guys are focused on Alabama. They know what's coming. They've been working on all off season. And one of the things I wanted to ask um, Coach Diaz, and maybe I'll get into that in fall camp, but I heard Mac Brown at UNC talk at media days because they open against Virginia Tech. And the question was asked, look, do you like that you're facing a tough team like that in the opener? Essentially, you know, sometimes teams don't play the, the tough team to open up the season in college football. And, and Coach Brown said it's, it goes a couple ways, but one of the things, even though it is a tough contest, it really gets your guys engaged in the offseason because they know what's at stake in week one. I feel like the same thing is happening at Miami. Again, a lot of guys are coming back. They're not coming back just to play. They want to do well and they want to win. And I thought that that's a big emphasis for the team um, in the offseason that they're going to face Alabama. And so other things that I saw today, let's get into it a little bit more. One of the things that stood out to me was the wide receivers. And a lot of guys made plays. I thought it was good that the young guys made plays. Romello Brinson, Burchard Smith, you know, and Jacoby George, the freshman, all took turns making big plays today. But I think it starts at the top. And certainly they rotated guys in, and, but there's a lot of question marks. Who's going to be their top three receivers? On the very first snap with the team drills, Mike Harley was out there as expected, along with Oklahoma transfer Charleston Rambo, who had that good spring. Um, so those were two of the receivers, but the third one was one of those breakout candidates and it was Keyshawn Smith. So you've heard a lot about Keyshawn over the spring, uh, even last season, if you've been paying attention to this team, he's a guy that's athletic. They really like his speed, which gets complimented quite a bit, but it's one thing to kind of hear about him. And then basically to see him out there tonight, I thought it was a good sign for his development also. In that, you know, I think Mark Pope and D. Wiggins, I've said this before, but it really puts a lot of pressure on them to be good. And for tonight, I thought both of those guys did have good practices. Mark Pope looked to me, did well in drills, position drills, also some one-on-one -on -one coverage type things he did well there. And also he excelled in seven on seven, 11 on 11 teamwork. So I thought that was good that Mark had a good day. Also D. Wiggins, one thing I noticed with him tonight, they were getting the ball to him on some short passes. And certainly they were getting the ball to, to the receivers on short passes quite a bit throughout the night. But I thought particularly with D, that, and he was able to get the ball and go. And certainly no, no pads tonight, so it wasn't heavy tackling or anything like that. Guys weren't going to the ground on plays. But it was good just that he was involved. Um, and, and conversely, I thought there were times where Charleston Rambo, who was good from what we saw in the spring, I thought he struggled a little bit at times tonight. So it would be interesting to see how he bounces back especially with the pressure that's being put on with Mark and D, but and Keyshawn, but I do expect um, Charleston to bounce back because we did see it before. But that's just kind of how fall camp works. That's how practices work. Sometimes guys are up, sometimes they're down. 
just want to get through a couple housekeeping notes there were some um, maybe some things that you guys didn't quite know you've heard Cam Williams defensive end he's not part of the team right now and same way with defensive tackle Jalar Harley and coach Diaz said just academics they didn't meet the standard so they're not on the team and then another guy that wasn't out here tonight was wide receiver Jeremiah Payton who was their top recruit a couple years ago just hasn't really put it together the first two seasons he wasn't out here today and coach Diaz admitted that Jeremiah is going through some things and he might not football might not be his answer right now that he might not want to play football and that they're working through some things and helping him out with some things so it's something to keep an eye on but certainly the way it stands now don't look for Jeremiah to be or look for Jeremiah to, to be a part of this team or don't expect him to be a part of this team especially with all these receivers that are doing well so um, that's a big thing and then a couple of injury things I was able to ask coach Diaz about John Campbell he wasn't out here and Sam Brooks John's going to miss the quite a bit of time with some knee injury um, that he su suffered in, in the summer and then Sam Brooks he's expecting to be out here maybe sometime in the first week so watch for Sam and we'll see how he looks Ja'Kai Clark was out here but just um, didn't really do anything he was on the sidelines but he was out there um, Al Blades Jr. is another guy did some drill stuff didn't do as much team stuff but um, I would expect a guy like Al to, to be ready for the opener because he's able to do some things so I don't think it's anything um, to be concerned with at this point so a few other guys that stood out to me that impressed I thought you know I thought Jake Garcia had a good day I, I thought De'Ara King threw the ball well made some runs but I thought Jake had a really good day and, and his it's good for Jake to have a good fall. You know, he, what he did in the spring was good, his first spring at UM, but today what was standing out to me was he really did a good job finding the end zone. There was a drill they were working on. It looked like from the five or the 10 yard line on the opposite end of the field, we weren't able to be close, but we were able to see it from Jake's point of view with the quarterback and the offense to our, their backs were to our, you know, what we could see. And Jake did a really good job finding guys in the end zone. I thought that was great great sign for him I felt like there was a sequence where he made three straight completions guys in the end zone whether it was holding it just at the right time and getting rid of it um, or throwing some bullet passes when he needed to with guys in coverage and there was a play that stood out to me too where it was a guy that a receiver that was open over the middle in the back of the end zone and instead of trying to thread it in there Jake threw a high pass um, where only his receiver could get it and came down with the score so that was a good play by Jake so good um, day for Jake defensively guys in the secondary look good I thought Bubba Bolden did a good job he seemed pretty confident about what the, what's going on with the defense so that's good to hear linebackers everybody wants to know what's going on there basically they, they shuffled the guys in um, on that first uh, first and second unit different guys were in there Wayne Steed, Bradley Jennings Jr. Counter Smith all these guys are in the mix Wayne, you know those are guys to watch for um, and I think it's going to be there and I think Avery Huff got a few reps as well I certainly saw him with that, those other guys. So they're going to rotate guys in. So it will be interesting to see how guys perform. Corey Flagg, obviously, I, I didn't mean to leave him out. So a bunch of names to watch for there. Cornerbacks, again, rotating a lot of guys in. Um, I think the receivers as a whole did pretty good today. I, I thought up and down the depth chart, they did pretty well. A lot of guys I touched on the freshman earlier, um, Pope, Wiggins, you know, different guys making different plays. And I think that I'll be looking to see if the defense bounces back gets their hands on a little bit more balls um, you know maybe some interceptions saw Cam Kitchens had an interception today I it was hard to see but I think to Corey Couch had one or he broke up a pass certainly a good play either way that was on to Eric so that was good and then Kitchens was on Garcia so just something to watch for there as the defense looks to make moves in the fall also I know everybody's curious about the five-star freshman James Williams at safety looked great in drills Obviously, he's got the athleticism, moves well. Um, I thought he did a good job. He was paired up with Kitchens quite a bit um, at, the, at the safety position on about that third team unit. Um, but, but just, you know, I made a note of it on the thread. Maybe that's a safety duo for the future to watch for. But I thought James did the good. There was a time where James dropped a pass in a drill, um, but he bounced right back and, and had two, um, caught the next two passes and seemed to look the ball in, really concentrate. I thought that was good that he bounced back. You saw the glimpses from defensive tackle Leonard Taylor getting in the backfield, just like we saw in high school, why both of those guys were five-star prospects. You saw the glimpses of them today, so I thought that was a good first day for them as well. So I'm going to wrap this up. Definitely thank everybody for watching. For more complete coverage, 
the videos, everything, you know, stay locked into the YouTube channel, but for the content, the articles, definitely check out InsideTheU.com. Thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button. It's a huge help. Um, thanks again. I can't believe this is year 19. So thanks again and take care.